It's been dubbed TV's most dangerous reality show and blighted by accident. We're talking about The Jump, of course, just three weeks in, and only five of the original 12 celebrities remain. It's incredible, really. I mean, we were speaking in a moment to uh, Louisa Litton. Who You're basically... almost laughing. I know, it's, it's so just, ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. It? And yeah. It just shows what you've got on your hands. I thought this was like a fashion statement. It's actually because you've hurt your hand, you hurt your back. We're going to be talking to you it's in a moment. Great, uh, but you're one of the contestants fortunate not to actually exit the show in an ambulance. I mean, you left because you didn't do Wasn't that well. <laughs> but, yeah. but me, isn't it? You've got to be an adrenaline junkie to want to do that, yeah. presumably. Yeah. Which presumably... You, so, look, you got the court, you fancy doing the jump. Um, what was your reaction? Well, when I went into my meeting, like, the first thing I said is, it's not personality driven, you know, it's a, you have to actually be good at something so it's to do action. well. They can't get all shopping yeah. standards It's not a popularity yeah. show, yeah. you're not, you know, it's, there's not a phoning boat yeah. system, so, like Strictly, which is, I mean, I know it is, but which is why I chose the show, it's, you're learning something new. I've yeah. never skied before. Yeah. Honestly thought I was going to be really good at it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I actually was, you know, in the two weeks I was there, I picked up so much, and, you know, I can now ski. I can go and ski in holidays. Oh, there I you. am. Oh, heck, because, I mean, you've got this trendy little grey yeah. thing on now, but you were what? in a full cast, what weren't you? What happened there? Did you hurt your so back? I, I, yeah, I was, I was skiing and I fell and I f went into, like, the chairlift thing um, and I fell on my back, but I'd had two previous accidents where I'd fallen on my back, so they, they literally airlifted me off the mountain into the hospital, it was very dramatic, into the hospital and that's when they x-rayed my back which was totally fine. They also then x-rayed my arm and they found that I'd fractured my hand. But that was my own fault, I was skiing. So look, and I fell. was there, is, what's the mood like in the camp? Is it a little bit like being an Agatha Christie play where you wonder <laughs> who's next? You know, is everyone looking yeah. around and thinking think who's going to go or more, is it? We're kind of always thinking who's coming in because right. you know with every in injury someone else has to come in. So people are mainly like more excited about who's coming in rather than like who's going And who, are people scared? Do they want to go home or are they still loving it? I don't think so. Even, I was saying, even when I was kicked out of the competition, you know, technically I'm then a reserve for the next week. Yes. I couldn't go back in because of my injury. Yeah. But I was literally begging the producers like, please let me go back in. Crazy. Because we're having such a good time. Good. And, you know, the majority of people that are left are really confident and skiers, so they all want to win the show. Obviously, Great. in the minds of the public, everyone's very, very concerned about Beth. Tweddle. She is mm. one of our heroes, Olympic hero yeah. heroines. And how is she? I know you're in a little group and WhatsApp group, whatever. You talk yeah, to her regularly. We, 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 we're really good friends. How is she doing? Because so obviously we're all very worried her. about her. Yes, yeah, so it's yeah. her neck she injured. So wasn't serious. It? Yeah. Yeah. And I've spoken to her every day and she's in good spirits. She's doing really well. She's up. She's walking. Is she so, good? Yeah. yeah, no, she's she's good. Oh my goodness. So if you got the chance, yeah. would you do it again? I'd go back this year. Because I feel like I'm missing out the whole time. I was watching the show last night and I was literally on the phone to Becky Adlington the whole time. And we were just like, it's so sad being home. Oh, my but word. But, yeah, because I feel like I was, you know, I got to do the skeleton, but then I was knocked out. So there's so much more that I could yeah. have experienced that I haven't been able to. I think I'm with your mum on this. I think maybe stick to the acting because you're good at that. Thanks. And you've got something <laughs> yes, on tonight. Yes, and you've tonight. got something on the telly tonight. tonight. Yeah, I was recently in Canada filming a few episodes of Murdoch Mysteries, which oh, is yes. like a period drama. Yeah. And that's on tonight. Yes. Fake the injuries. Nine o'clock. That's what I'm yeah, thinking. Pretend, pretend, to have pretend injuries. injuries. Yeah. 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 Yeah, make us all feel happier. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Really nice well, talking to you. I'm glad you're so positive about the whole thing. I know, experience. and that's what's great when yeah. we're watching. Isn't it does, it's it? a you great are show. You're so positive to get through it. <laughs> I certainly won't be next, <laughs> I can promise you. <laughs>